have our own priorities in life. And most times, these priorities may come into conflict with our fitness lifestyle. And if it is okay to put a pause button on fitness, we'll never get in shape. So it really isn't about what you can do when situations are ideal, but what you can do when situations are not ideal, which is 99.999% of the time. Every single day, we're gonna make video logs and we're gonna talk about the problems that we face, how we overcome them, what kind of lessons that we learn about ourselves and about fitness in the process. Uh, yeah, I've been asked to do a recording, to be part of a filming for a dance, uh, which in June, which I'm totally, totally excited about. So, yeah. <laughs> Five, six, oh, wait, they say that. Boom, AK, toss, yeah, yeah, two. Uh, uh, looking for a home run. Cha, 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 step, step, kung cha. Very good, right? Eight, four, Okay, that's a bit better. <laughs> so, first section done, and uh, we're going to, and um, yeah, next is actually to add expression in. I just came back from a wedding. This year is a year of weddings, right? Um, but it was really interesting today. What I learned tonight was, I mean, I like looking gorgeous in my dress, so yeah, more reasons to be fit. I was watching Grace, my sister, uh, dance, like she's just freestyling and to the song by ABBA, Dancing Queen. I grew up being a bit envious of Grace because like she could like really, really dance and like freestyle and I never understood why. Until like um, recently, until taking classes from Steezy and they say like where everything just comes from your groove. So no matter what you do, it comes from here. And I realized that Grace, unlike me, because I'm, I'm very brain-centric or mind-centric, she's more groove-centric. So it makes it so easy for her to just bust out a move without really thinking too hard about it because she's always feeling her groove and she's very connected uh, to her groove. So yeah, that's not something they teach in dance classes. It's only recently that I had this uh, realization as to why some people can freestyle better than others. Um, but it's, it's just a matter of understanding that everything comes from the groove and just coming from there and, and as you're coming from there, when the music changes you just let the music dictate your groove in, in, in a way but you just stay connected with it I just realized how important basics are because like the choreo cookies who I follow and adore they do such an awesome awesome job like uh, with their choreography, it's so complex and the the phrase I can never overdraw my basics really comes to mind they spend like three weeks in the summer just drilling the basics so I said no to a lot of things today I said no to chips, I said no to boost juice in this journey, you can't really stress yourself too much if not, you won't enjoy yourself, you won't enjoy your journey so one of the things that I think I will try out is to have a more flexible system planning for myself so that I don't get too stressed out at the end of the day. So we'll see how next week plays out. I just got back from a WOD session and um, I'm very 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 happy because I can finally do 5 unbroken chin ups and I am so happy about that. I know 5 is just like a small number, might be a small number to some of you but like it's a very great achievement for me so yes so 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 happy so actually to be very honest today I wasn't really I wasn't really feeling very um, happy like before I went to gym it kind of feels like I'm emotionally constipated or emotionally stressed out and um, yeah I kind of didn't really feel like I wanted to socialize or talk to anybody but well when you see a gym buddy in the gym your face just lights up when you see your face right <laughs> I know it sounds so like 
it sounds it sounds like a romantic relationship but really sometimes having peer support is really really important to motivate you so let me just share a little bit about what i have uh set for myself uh, in terms of my sleeping habits and stuff because i've been having this problem for quite a long time right now to make it even more successful i would say setting the time to get back home is one and what you're gonna do after that is another so for me get back home at least by 11 p.m and one of the rules that i have set for myself is to not touch my phone but one of the things that i failed today is well i gave in to my um starbucks i only wanted to drink it because i don't know i just wanted something sweet i guess so yeah a backup plan probably have like protein shake with me all the time <laughs> so that if i want something sweet i can get some other substitute that is more optimal these two days is really a very good improvement to me because i make a commitment that i want to be here one hour early and I make it this time my mind and my body cannot take over me I just play nicely and allocate nicely and then I just follow through even the mind and the body feel like resting however this is not a pushing way of doing it this is more like a pulling pushing energy is now it is more like forcing pushing is more like forcing pulling way is more come from the space of willingness. So the problem with uh, the nutrition game book is carrying this book around uh, sometimes I may have accidentally left it somewhere and that is clunky and, and some of my clients were also commenting on that already. So what I've decided to do is to attempt to digitize that using Google Sheets and Google Forms. Sometimes people people ask the most unrealistic things like uh, people who are on diet and uh, gurus say, hey, that's bad, don't do this, don't do that, and all of those things. And what if you just, you just in work somewhere, and or maybe you're in a friend's house somewhere, and the friend's father or the mother decides to give you something, are you gonna say no because you're on diet? It makes no sense. So, uh, yeah, that, that's an interesting thought, you know? Uh, and, and nonetheless, I, I am here and uh, intend to get back to work pretty soon, and uh, just got myself some coffee. So, there you go, that's my thoughts for today. Hey guys, so I just finished my morning workout and man, I think all these years of me believing that you know no, no pain, no gain is really showing up. A few things I learned about myself, I subconsciously push myself too hard, which leads to me hating exercise and, and I guess that sort of explains why my relationship with exercise is, is so poor. I'm going to focus on being able to forgive myself for not putting in that 100% all the time. Um, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if, if anybody resonates with what I'm feeling, but um, that is what happens and I'm just saying it as it is. Until tomorrow. One of the most uh, vulnerable moments captured on this one of these vlogs. So my reflection is that obviously I work out my workout plan, but I hasn't worked out my working schedule at all. Uh, I went to a Mind Valley event again. I learned so much stuff. Hi everyone, my name is Amanda. I'm from PJ. Like, you know, I've gone from functional to like Olympic weightlifting. 